Now I'm going to talk about the project life cycle. So in a conventional project, there are five stages of life cycle. The first one is slow beginning. Second one, build up of size. Third one, when you reach to the peak. And fourth, begin a decline. And the last is when the project uh, is really uh, not performing well, that is a termination phase stage, or when the life cycle of the project is uh, going to an end, that is a termination phase. So when the first stage is slow beginning, at the beginning of the project, uh, that is wise to start properly. And obviously the beginning should be slow so that uh, you can assemble all the necessary resources. Once all necessary resources are assembled properly, you have enough human resources, you have physical or material resources, financial resources, then it's the time of build up of size. That is ensure the growth of the project. If you project grow on time, if you project grow within the budget limit, then it will help you to reach to the peak. That is the highest uh, uh, a point of the project life cycle. And after that, you have no chance to grow. So if you remain here for certain period of time, uh, that is really brilliant. And after that, if you don't take more measures to continue the project, automatically the project uh, will decline and reach to the termination or the life of the project uh, will be an end. Uh, you see, uh, you have some uh, flowchart, some uh, uh, graph here, uh, what uh, shows the feature of a project. Like you see that this year, we see that in this project, uh, you have slow start, but there's a quick momentum. Slow start is there, but after that, the quick momentum is there. Growth phase is so first, but again, uh, finish, slow finish is there. So slow start, slow finish, but uh, growth is very first, uh, very steep. Uh, we have another example here. You will find that uh, these, these kind of project life cycle uh, is presented another way. Uh, you have conception of the project, then selection of a project, then planning, scheduling, monitoring, and controlling of the project, then evaluation and uh, termination. So you see that this is uh, another kind of uh, project life cycle where the first phase is conception, where you will clearly define uh, what it is, what kind of project it is, what are the goals and objectives of the project, what will be the budget, what is the time frame, all are explained properly in this phase, conception. And then is the time of evaluating the project for selection. So second phase is selection. Once it is selected, uh, then the phase is planning, scheduling, monitoring, control uh, of the project. And obviously there is a peak. So once you reach to the peak, the next time is uh, uh, how long you can continue the project. And once project is completed, you have, to you have to go for the termination of the project. Or sometimes uh, if it is a project of transferring, then after a certain period of time, you have to transfer the project. So termination and transfer, uh, you have to remember two words. Now, uh, the explanation of uh, our, our traditional uh, project life cycle. Here, we are dividing our project into four phases, project initiation, project planning, project execution, and then project closure. So what the first one, project planning. In this phase, 
what you are doing, you are appointing the project team and you are ready to enter into the detailed project planning phase. So how many tasks you have to do under project planning phase? You have to follow the flowchart. You have uh, 10 uh, steps in this planning phase. And this flowchart will help you to remember this. The first one, create a project plan. One plan is ready. Create a resource plan. We are using resource several times again and again. So now we understand there are three resources, financial, material, and human resources. So, and that's why you see that create a resource plan that is a material plan, then create a financial plan that is uh, the sources of fund and the expenditures or budget of your project. Create a quality plan. How do you ensure quality or create a milestone or standard plan? Create a risk plan that assume what are the risks are associated with the project and what are the remedies of those risks. Create an acceptance plan that when a project will be accepted, what terms and conditions you need to satisfy to accept a project. Then create a communications plan. I have already using, uh, I have already explained uh, uh, the communication plan. Nowadays we are using its multi-channel communication plan. Create a procurement plan. Now you have to set how you will procure everything, your machineries, your materials, whatever you need, your technology that you need to procure. You should have a plan in this phase that contract the suppliers and perform phase review. Review why? Because in this stage, you should be very perfect. We say a good plan means 50% of the project. So review again, whether you are on the right track or you need uh, a little change in your total pl project planning phase or process. Once you are ready, now is the time for project execution. And in this stage also you have some uh, activities. And what are these? This is called build deliverables, build deliverables. So the in this phase, you have to build deli deliverables and you have to monitor and control activities of the project. And uh, you have to always uh, perform your phase review. So what are the activities here? You see that you need to go for time management here cost management here, quality management here, change management here, risk management, issue management, uh, procurement management, acceptance management. You see that what plan you have done in the project planning phase, in the execution phase is related to the implementation or execution of the planning. And that's why when execute your plan, the plan you have taken in the first stage or first phase, now is the time to prove that you are a very good project manager. You have very good project management team. That's why what plan you have taken in your first phase, first stage, in the second stage, it is the time to prove the proper management. So how many management you need? You need time management, cost management, quality management, change management, risk management. If any issue uh, arises related to your performance, uh, identify those and manage those. Issue management, procurement management, uh, performance acceptance management, performance communications management. All together, we call it monitor and control. Uh, it's also known as the build deliverables, means you are evaluating your performance. So you have evaluated your performance properly, execution is done, now is, is the time for project closer. So in, in this project closer phase, what you have to do, uh, perform project closer, review project completion. Project closer means releasing the final deliverables to the customer. For home, you have developed this project. 
now is the time to deliver your project to them. So what we say project initiation is the beginning of the project, beginning, beginning the first, the idea stage, or it's, it's called uh, that the inception of the project, uh, your idea is the inception or a group of people ideas of uh, ideas at the inception. And in this phase also, you, you have to remember uh, what you have to do. I already omitted this. I started with project planning, but project initiation uh, is related to crazy ideas. Uh, so what you do here, normally you identified some problems uh, that is called business case. Then what you do uh, undertake a feasibility study that whether uh, you can go ahead with this business case or with this ideas, whether your idea is really feasible to transform as a good project, then establish the terms and references. Terms and references means uh, on what terms and conditions you are going to take the project and then appoint a project team who will work with you to set to go for the next stage set up a project office where it may be your home it may be your office or some other places and perform phase review so if you make a summary this is basically the idea stages where you converted your idea to a project once your idea transformed to a project then project planning started and here 10 key steps there if you are very good here then project execution and at this stage really you are testing uh, whether all are really working uh, as per the standard and then project closer means what i said if you develop a project for your customer then in this stage this is high time to transfer this project to the customers